And are you an abstinence-based program? We are not. We accept MAT. And we've been accepting MAT for, for five years now. We started with Suboxone for pregnant um, clients. And then again, as evidence shows, you know, there's, there's a lot of research that supports MAT. So we, we absolutely allow clients, we look at MAT as being a component of their treatment plan. If it's, it's not something we tell them one way or another, they have to do, it's a, it's a personal choice between them and their provider because we are not a medical provider. Um, but we believe that it's not only and, it's only with. They have to, if they're on MAT, we strongly believe that they should be having inpatient or outpatient treatment services as well. Right, absolutely. And the state, the states, the payers, the government is actually embracing that. And in certain states, it's becoming a requirement, Wendy, which is fantastic. Couldn't agree with you more. And I, I, I'd like to give you a, a shout out and a little round of applause for embracing medication-assisted treatment right now and even in the past because you have to meet the client where they're at, right? Absolutely. And um, I said it in the last podcast, and I'll say it again, you cannot treat a client if they're dead. And that's very sad and heavy to think about, but if they're not alive, how can you treat them? I think I come from a unique perspective. I think a lot of halfway houses and recovery residences were started because of individuals in recovery themselves that right. follow 12-step principles. And we do. I mean, we our clients are required to go to 12-step meetings. They're required to have a sponsor, but it's more about them having accountability and ownership. But for me, you know, I came from nonprofit world. You know, I'm a fundraiser. I believe in evidence-based practices and policies and procedures. So I think I look at things a little bit differently. And I think that has helped Dove House kind of break the mold on what perhaps a recovery residence looks like. And we are a nonprofit with standards and processes and, and look at each client's needs. And if there is evidence and research that supports something, then you better believe we're going to be implementing that here in our program.